all right guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be going over my SEG 1k's winning list so we're gonna start off with the deck tech all right so we got four captain hook four robin hood those are our only one drops uh the main reason why we play captain hook is because we have SME and it being able to have challenger 2 and deal with three toughness characters is really nice uh, you might be wondering why am i only playing three madam mim and that's because we're only playing eight one drops so it's less likely that it's gonna you're gonna be able to pull it off plus i wanted to make room for bubba boom which is deal two damage to chosen character or location the reason why i ended up playing this card is it's similar to teeth except for uh you you don't need a you don't need your own character to deal damage to the other reasoning is um i think it's really good against yellow steel basically if they play a cinderella on turn one or uh, a queen you can remove it without them being able to shift onto it um killing a robin hood on turn two is also really nice so that that was my reason for blah blah boom and at worst you can you can ink it so that's my reason for two madam uh three madam mims um i decided to play three pinocchio one one of the primary things you can do with pinocchio is take out cinderella's just i mean having captain hook uh, trading trading up on cards is just really great. So Pinocchio was an absolute all star. Mr. Smee, I mean, such a quick clock. Now that you have a captain character, um, Smee won't take damage. And if it is taking damage, you can always reset it by bouncing it back to your hand with either Madam Mim Fox or Madam Mim Snake. And then we got a standard Maleficent package. Um, so even when I play red, purple, ruby, amethyst, I prefer having uh, Maleficence because I think that like if you play against like discard packages like green steel, you want to be able to have an empty hand and then the next turn not have an empty hand. Just like going Maleficent into rabbit or Maleficent into... Friends on the other side is just so powerful. You just want to constantly flood the board with threats. And then since we don't have Maui, Merlin Crab is pretty necessary to be able to get locations off the board. And Rafiki is a card that was really, really important in set, set one that everybody used to need to play around and people stopped doing that. And I felt like Rafiki could operate as the fifth Madam Mim and it could win me like some specific scenarios, which it did. It caught every single per player that I played against off off guard. And it's kind of like my, you know, mini Maui, you know, uh, it's absolutely excellent and a lot better to have with Madam Mim Fox, right? You can... You can have both of them on the field at the same time better than how two madam mim foxes would would end up benja excellent card against flutes against uh tamatoa decks right hitting popsicles hitting a lucky dime all the important stuff classic bounce package merlin goat merlin rabbit um I've seen other purple steel decks that don't play Robin Hood. I think that's kind of a mistake. I think that one of the biggest perks of this deck is that you can get a lot of lore accidentally, right? You can use goat and then Robin Hood taking out your opponent's character, getting you to lore. It, it all ends up adding up. And Mr. Smee and Benja, they just get you lore faster than the typical purple red shell so that's kind of how you want to want to look at it 
um, friends on the other side, standard. And then along came Zeus. This is like the best removal spell in the format. Also ties really well with Bubba Boom. You can deal seven, which takes out castles. And then spell book, which gives you an advantage against purple red. And it really came up in, in, in that matchup. Not as good against yellow steel, but still re really, really good. And then we have three Queen's Castle. This is a card, depending on the meta, I could see playing four of these. Like if I knew I was going to a tournament that has four yellow steel, like all yellow steel, then I would cut the spell books and probably um, add another one drop and add Queen's Castle because locations are good against yellow steel. But if I knew that the tournament had a lot of red purple, I would lean towards having the two spell books and less locations because they're good at dealing with locations. So this is the deck that I played. Um, I still think that Yellow Steel is an absolutely incredible deck. I just ran into the exact 60 a couple of times and um, when I was playing Yellow Steel on Saturday and um, I felt like there's nothing I could do, especially if I lost the die roll. And so I wanted to try another deck that I had been testing and um, I just took a chance on Sunday and it kind of all came together and I feel like um, we're going to play some games with this deck and show you what it's capable of. All right, let's hop into some games. All right, we are going second. We have a one drop, we have a two drop. Gonna get rid of, and then along came Zeus. We also have a three drop and rabbit. I think I want to keep this. <laughs> All right, Tamatoa, Popsicle, either blue red or blue steel. We'll get rid of a snake we keep the hook here because if they eliminate this hook I still want to have a play for next turn Tamatoa 2 okay that's good news for us one jump ahead that's bad news for us. All right, we'll quest. We'll get rid of this hook. We'll play Madam Mem. Mm. Still don't know what they're playing. I wish we had a Benja here. That would be nice. Okay, so they played a fish hook there. Okay, we'll let, we'll do this. And Happily ink the hook. Play Maleficent. Worst thing that they can do is play Maui, I guess. They could also play like a Madame Medusa or Lady Tremaine. Those are kind of annoying. I was very much interested in in playing a location this turn, but it doesn't feel right to play a location. I'm going to ink this Captain Hook. I think I'm supposed to play a rabbit here. And I feel like I can't can't 
exactly attack. Because if I attack, then they then they can also heal their Gaston. That makes things problematic, but I feel like I need to make progress and I would rather not them not quest for three. So I think I am going to. I still have this other Madam Mim in hand and I can use that to get the job done. So if they play like a Maui here and use the Gaston to eliminate our board. Interesting. Okay, so now I think I quest with the crab. Yeah, um, in quest with the Merlin. Play this, bounce the rabbit. rid of that they should have healed and now I get to get rid of this get rid of Baba boom and play the Mr. Smee hmm another guest all they need another Maui otherwise I can start Slam and stuff. Um, hmm. I think this just seems like a rabbit turn. Rabbit. I will quest for two. I think I should play. this Robin Hood and I'll ink this Captain Hook. I could have also bounced the rabbit here, but I don't think it uh, is as necessary because if they use a Gaston to kill my Mr. Smee, then I can use the Robin Hood to take out the rest of the Gaston and that will also give me two lore and is kind of the plan. Oof. Punish for not playing hook instead. But if they do quest here, we will take the opportunity to take out the Gaston. Because that's a lot of lore real quick. Hmm. All right, I think maybe we ignore it. Okay. I am I'm the I'm liking the look of this crab here now.
Yeah, I think this is right. And I think I have to let this Robin Hood go. I think we're getting closer and closer to double double location, especially if they decide to be prepared here. But they did not. That's dangerous. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to go all in here. So I think I get rid of this. Play Queen's Castle, Queen's Castle. And I just go ham. I really need to draw a fox here. Uh, like a Pinocchio, that turn would have been devastating for them. I could have taken out. Okay, it's not good. So they go to 13, I go to 13. And I need an answer for this bell. Fox, please. Fox, please. One of these should have been the goat. Mistakes were made. Yep. <sighs> Dang. One of the locations should have been. I, I could have also hit it. And then along came Zeus. Just easily win there. It's okay. All right, this is gone. Goat is gone and Merlin is gone. Hmm. Friends is really good. And we're on the play. All right, we'll, we will need a to drop hmm. unfortunate Solid draw. I think I let her go. I think I do blow this up. And because Hiram would be a problem. Obviously, we could get punished by fish bones, but we can find something to bounce it. Alright, we go. 
practicing this. We have to let this go. And we have to deal with that. We gotta get up to three. Maui is really bad for us. Okay, thank God, no Maui. We just draw two. We'll activate, we'll get rid of this, and we'll go to five. So now we just have a plan to activate Spellbook every turn, and hopefully that will be enough to get us there. Right. If they go be prepared here, we go Pinocchio Smi. Okay, this is great. This means that we can deal with their their threat, activate spellbook, do everything that we need to do. Okay, great. Goodbye. Bam, bam, bam. At nine. Next turn we have at least ten. So if this turn is to be prepared, then we get to go Mr. S Maleficent, Mr. Smee. Okay. Oof, rough, okay, sure. Oh, dang. We'll start off here. I will let you go. Play Mr. Smee, activate, go. So we're at least at 11, and they're pretty low on cards. So, oof. That's a really quick clock, so we have the Pinocchio to tap it down, but we are still pretty far. We just have to focus on our clock. Um, I will play the rabbit. That's a goat. Activate, activate. I guess I let the Smee go. Or I could let the Madam Mim go and play this me. This forces them to No, uh, I think I let the Smee go. And this plays better on Wrath. Alright. So we're threatening lethal next turn we have five six on board we have the goat plus the madam mem 
to end it. Okay, there's the Maui. Hmm, Tamatoa. Goodbye, Maleficent. So we just go boom, boom, boom. All right. On to game three. Okay. We don't need Pinocchio. We don't need these Robin Hoods. We don't need this Madam Mim. Merlin Crab is not the worst. I don't think we need Fox either. We need to find a one drop. That's what we need and we need Benjus. Got ourselves some one drops, but no Benja. Captain Hook is certainly not great against Queen of Hearts. But I think I have to play it against the Queen of Hearts. Yeah, I think I'll let Mr. Smee go. And I can't afford not to do this. If they play Queen of Hearts here, I lose the hook, but then I just play the Rafiki. Keep the clock going. If if they could if they could play Fishbone Quill or a Queen, I'd rather than play the Queen. But can we just do these? Goodbye. Maleficent, Queen's Castle, great draw. <laughs> I 
Goodbye, Tabatoa. Hmm. This certainly seems like a wrath to me. So boom, boom, boom. Goodbye, Robin Hood. Queen's Castle, go. I could have drawn two. <sighs> that was certainly an option. Mr. Smee is so freaking good. But I felt like I had my play kind of set up for me next turn anyways. Which is probably just goat. The shield is a problem for this location. Like if they play a Maui. Or they play a queen here. Take out the hook. Untap. Hit the queen's castle. I then take that out and they play a Maui. Puts me in a bad spot. Or if they can play the Maui this turn. Oh. That's bad. That hits all my guys, right? And they can even hit my Queen's Castle here. Alright, so I go to 10 here. Spellbook, wonderful draw. So we have the answer for that in front of us anyways. I'm just going to take this opportunity to draw to, and I could just play the Rafiki to take it out. Yep, there's the Rafiki. So Rafiki takes it out. Goodbye. Go plus bounce is quite nice, but I think I'm going to play this me because it's such a quick clock. So, I feel like we're in a decent spot here. Oh, that's a good draw. I don't have enough power to get rid of it with my Pinocchio. And that's a problem because it can kill my Queen's Castle. So I'll be going to 12, 14, 15. If you draw fox, not rabbit. Then we just let it go. So now they... Oh. They can't afford to get rid of the Queen's Castle. I guess they could untap it still 
take care of my Queen's Castle and then like play a Maui. We kind of made like a cake here. It's like a layered. They need to deal with an item. They need to deal with the location. They need to deal with my characters. So there isn't one card that takes care of all of their issues. Okay. Still looking dead. Hmm. Sure. Okay, so 18. Right now, 19 with the goat. So, goat. Activate. And pass. So, yeah, they're dead. I think we got them. That is game time. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope you have a good time trying out the deck. See you next time.